Welcome back. As we continue to study conic sections, we are now going to explore parabolas. The objectives of this video is to define a parabola, we'll determine the equation of a parabola, and we'll find the focus of a parabola. A parabola is the set of all points, x and y, in a plane that are equidistant from a fixed line, the directrix is the fixed line, and a fixed point, the focus. The midpoint between the focus and the directrix is the vertex, and the line passing through the focus and the vertex is the axis of the parabola. Sometimes we call this the axis of symmetry, or I will abbreviate that as AOS. So here's a diagram of what we're talking about. So we've got our parabola, and every point on the parabola is the same distance from the focus as it is from the directrix. And we measure that other distance to the directrix by the length of the perpendicular segment. Every single point on here is the same distance from the focus as it is the directrix. And the distance between the vertex and the focus, it's not in our definition, we assign that lowercase p. Well, since the any point on the parabola is the same distance from the focus as it is the directrix, the distance from the that p distance from the focus to the vertex is also the same as the p distance from the vertex to the directrix. So we'll need that p as we continue to explore this. Note every point on the parabola is equidistant from the focus and the directrix. So here's our standard form of the equation of a parabola with a vertex at hk, much like our circle. If we have x minus h quantity squared equals 4p times y minus k, here we have essentially x squared. This is gonna lie on the vertical axis and our directrix is going to be y equals k minus p. So when we say it opens on the vertical axis, this parabola is going to open up or it's going to open down. Whereas if we have y minus k squared equals 4p times x minus h, that's going to open on the horizontal axis or our x-axis and that parabola is going to open up to the right or it's going to open up to the left. The focus lies on the axis p units or the directed distance from the vertex. We saw that in our previous diagram. If the vertex is at the origin, then the equation takes one of these following forms. x squared equals 4py, vertical axis, that parabola again will open up or down and the horizontal axis that parabola will open left or right. Note like the equations of circles we have a perfect square trinomial in standard form here so we've got some PSTs that we've got to work with and same as a circle H and K are opposite signs uh, and that also tells us what our vertex of our parabola is kind of like the center of our circle. So here in figure 9.7, lots of details going on here, but these two parabolas are going to be the x minus h quantity square version that open up or down. And these two parabolas are the y minus k squared versions that open to the left or to the right. Some of the details to take a look at here, when the parabola opens up, our p is positive. When the parabola opens down, our p is negative. And again, when our parabola opens to the right, our p is positive. And when it opens to the left, our p is negative. So p is positive if we open up or right and p is negative if we open to the well open down or 
open to the left. In objective two, we want to determine the equation of a parabola. Find the standard form of the equation of the parabola with a vertex at the origin and a focus of 0, 4. So origin, 0, 0 is one of our points. That's our h and our k. And our focus is 0, 4. So if we think about that, if our focus is at 0 on the x, 4 on the y, our focus is up here, our parabola has to open up and look something like that. And our p is 4 units, so our directrix is going to be down here, also 4 units from our vertex. So the parabola will open upwards and take the form y equals x squared, specifically x minus h squared equals 4p times y minus k. So our solution here, kind of in a narrative form, I will just substitute our values in. I have x minus 0 squared equals 4p. So our p is 4 times y minus 0. And that becomes x squared equals 16y, or rewritten y equals x squared over 16. So just like we've got in our narrative form. And this would be a sketch of the graph of that if we put that in our graphing calculator. In sample two, we want to find the standard form of the equation of a parabola with a vertex of 1, 0, and a focus of 2, 0. So if my vertex is at 1 on the x, 0 on the y, and my focus is at 2, 0, that means my parabola will look something like that. So it's going to open to the right. My p is 1 unit, and it's positive. And my directrix is going to be my y-axis, my directrix is going to be just the equation x equals 0. So we know the parabola is going to open right. It's going to take the form y squared equals x. My h equals 1. My k equals 0. Substituted into my equation, we have y minus 0 squared equals 4p, which is 1, times x minus 1 leaving us with y squared equals 4 times x minus 1. And that is the standard form of that particular parabola. Objective 3, we want to find the focus of a parabola. So given our equation, negative 1 half x squared minus x plus 1 half, our goal here is to complete the square to get a perfect square trinomial and write the equation in standard form. So we have an x squared here. We have a negative x squared. You may remember from previous studies that that is going to be a parabola that opens down. So we know our p is going to be negative. Our goal here is to complete the square, though, and get our perfect square trinomial to write the equation in standard form. So we're going to. Originally, we're going to get going here. We're going to multiply everything by negative 2 to get rid of our fractions. So the result is here, negative 2y equals x squared plus 2x minus 1. Now, we don't have a perfect square trinomial, but with x squared, we need a PST. So we are now going to follow the process to complete the square. So we're going to get rid of this 1. We're going to add it to the other side. So we add 1 to both sides, and we do that. And then we are going to complete the square and make this right hand side a perfect square trinomial. So we take half of 2, so 2 over 2, we're going to square that and that is equal to 1 squared or 1. But since we manufactured 1 on the right, we have to add 1 to the left hand side. So now we have 2 minus 2y equals x squared plus 2x plus 1, which really is x plus 1 quantity squared. We factored out the negative 2, and we have negative 2 times y minus 1 equals x plus 1 
quantity squared. I may write this, I might rewrite this the other way. x plus 1 quantity squared equals negative 2 times y minus 1. So we can see here, we've got our equation, but for p equals negative 2, so we see here p is equal to negative 2 fourths, or negative 1 half. Because p is negative, the parabola opens downward, and so our focus of our parabola is negative 1, 1 half. I think it's almost easier to sketch a little graph of this to see what's going on. And we said that our h and our k, our vertex was at negative 1, 1 right here. So our parabola is going to open down. It's going to look something like that. And since our p is negative 1 half, our p value ends up right here at negative 1, comma, 1 half. I think graphing it almost makes it easier to find that, but you certainly can do this algebraically and, and calculate it. And there you go. There is a graph of the actual parabola. And our graph is pretty similar. So we're in pretty good shape. And that wraps up the introduction to parabolas. You'll get some more practice with this when I see you in class.